Hey guys, how's it going? It's Richard Plunky here from the Puppetum Geek, and this is a new series that we're doing called Noob to Master. Now, I'll explain a bit more with that at the end of this video, so make sure to stay tuned. But today's video, we're going to be talking about WD's new blue SSD. Now, this is here. If you're wondering, actually, when did WD start making SSDs? Like right now, they started making, well, no, well not really right now, but they started releasing their SSDs finally and it's really great to see that WD has joined that race of SSDs because WD has been in the market forever with their hard drives and they've been really great, really competitive with their pricing and really reliable as well. Now it's really great to see that their SSDs are on the market as well, uh, ranging from their blue drives across to their blacks and purples for surveillance and NAS drives as well as their green drives as well. So it's really great to sort of see that range across uh, which people who are familiar to WD will know about that as well. For anyone out there who don't know, this particular blue drive is really great for everyday use and then going across their other colors which range from surveillance to NAS and everything that I'll put a link down below which you can check also which go a bit more in descriptive. But a blue drive is really great for having as an everyday drive that you use on your computer. So meaning that if you're gonna be running your operating system or your games, it's really great to have a blue drive. Meaning that this right here is a one terabyte drive. Can you believe it? One terabyte. Um, so with that being, you know, I'm running currently a one terabyte regular WD hard drive, so I completely merged everything to this SSD, so it was really great and really easy. The software that I use, I'll put a link down below where you can download it. I used the free or try version. It did everything from merging to actually making it my actual operating system as well. So when I booted it up the next time, everything was ready to go. Now, with that being said, you know, is it really great to have your operating system and your, you know, documents and everything all on the same SSD? You know, I think it's not too bad, but ideally if you are thinking long term, it maybe will be worth having your operating system running off another SSD and then having your other SSD run, you know, your game. So if you have a one terabyte drive like this, you can run everything if you want to on here and you'll be fine. But if you have two SSDs, so like one 256, you can run your operating system and maybe some of your important softwares like Photoshop or your video editing softwares, and then have all your games on here and all your pictures and stuff, so then it makes it really easy. Saying that as well, you don't really have to have a one terabyte drive to run all your games. What most people do is they have their operating system on their SSD and then their hard drive, they have all their games. So, you know, given that, you know, the operating system boots really fast, it loads everything really well as well. The blue drive right here promises about 500 read and write speeds, which is pretty good. Now, the speeds that I got, unfortunately, were around 300 mark, at least with the bench testing that I did. Now, I think that's because of my computer. I'm not running the latest and greatest uh, computer. I'm running around a mid-range PC, which is starting to get a bit out of date, and I think the motherboard on there just can't support the amount of data going across, especially with the other drives. So in my testing, what I did was I thought, okay, you know, given that this is my main drive right now, I'll unplug all the other drives, they weren't really running anything anyways, and I'll just run this SSD. And I got slightly a bit faster, and then I plugged everything back in and then ran again the bench test and it was slightly a bit lower uh, given around you know a couple of megabytes. So I th it just led me to thought, that my motherboard is, you know, the bottleneck what is happening with this SSD. And I think that's very common in most, you know, motherboards as well, at least with the older ones, not supporting the latest sort of SATA transfers. So overall, I mean, it's a SSD, it's a hard drive that, you know, it reads, it writes, it it's it's really it's really hard to actually talk about something that's, you know, really I can just show in bench sets. Like this is what it does, and I couldn't really show you that because of my PC. But this brings me to my whole noob to master series that I'm doing. And that's something that I want to do, you know, starting from now to next year of building a PC from scratch. And I know there's many other videos out there as well. But I wouldn't say, you know, since moving to Mac and slowly coming to PC, I've, you know, I've sort of lost a lot of stuff what's happening out in the PC world. And I really want to start getting back into that and making videos on PC hardware, software, for you guys over the course of next year and now. 
and talking about something that's you know really simple to understand but also working our way up to doing you know really hardcore stuff with PCs and becoming like a PC master I guess um, hence the name noob to master series uh, which I think will be interesting leave a comment down below what you think about that um, but going back to the drive, um, it's really great that WD has finally joined SSDs. I mean, they're reliable. I've owned WDs like forever, you know, small portable drives to hard drives to NAS drives. I mean, they're really good, reliable, and I can definitely recommend them to people because, you know, for my experience in using them over the course of my lifetime with computers, with Macs and PCs. Now, given that this only has three years warranty, now, three years warranty is pretty good still, but a lot of other SSDs on the market or other competitors do offer very similar warranties or even five years. So I think this is something, especially because this is a new SSD to the market, we're gonna to have to wait and see how this holds up, especially with the one terabyte SSDs where you're actually running everything on here, your games, your, you know, your whole operating system. It's gonna be really interesting to see all that data transfers, especially if you use your computer on a daily basis, how these drives hold up. I mean, that's something we just have to wait and see. And maybe if I'm still around in three years, I might make an update video and saying, you know, they either failed or they're amazing. And it's really great to see what WD comes out next as well. I mean, we've got our WD blue drives, but it'll be really interesting to see how SSDs evolve over time as well. And now that WD is part of that market, I think they're gonna be one of the leading competitors out there as well. Anyway guys, hope you enjoyed this video on the WD Blue SSD. Welcome WD to the SSD world. Um, it's great to have you. Hopefully you stick around and everyone out there, thanks again for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Hope you enjoyed this first video of PC Noob to Master and hopefully I'll continue this series across different softwares, hardware and you know, this learning experience, this journey with you and me. I know it sounds a bit lame, but I think it's going to be fun. So I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.